everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano and I'm back with another Star Wars Micro Machines unboxing. This is the one you guys have all been waiting for because in this video I'm going to be announcing a winner of this Star Wars Micro Machines playset, the new Star Destroyer playset. But first, let me get into this one where I'm going to open the old school one. This one is from, what year is it from? 1998. 18 years old. This is a very old toy, and I'm crazy enough to just open it up and put it together because I love these things. I really do love these things. I've got a bunch of them that I've just been collecting, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you like Star Wars Micro Machines, you know other people who like Star Wars Micro Machines, do me a favor and share this video and some of my other videos where I've unboxed them. Share them with those people because some people out there will never get to see these old toys get unboxed. Let's get into it. All right. You got my little exacto knife. This is always a little crazy and like nerve-wracking because this has not been opened ever in 20 years since they packaged it up. It's like got a little dust on it. This is cool. First, before I actually get too far into it, actually, I'm about to like pull it out, but I want to show you guys and talk about the back of the box. So, back of the box is this is a Star Destroyer that opens into a space fortress. Starting at the top, we have an Imperial control room, two Imperial officers, working lift tube, cruise quarters, there's a hangar, uh, opening docking bay with pivoting tractor beam crane, a flip-up radar, a landing strip, Vader's TIE Fighter launches into space, and that's actually really cool because the figure here is Vader's TIE Fighter, but it's like connected to a missile, and if you look on the box, it looks like there's another like mini Star Destroyer inside that will launch the TIE Fighter, so that's cool. Uh, vehicle launcher, that's what I was just describing. Battle deck with pivoting guns, cool. Rebel Blockade Runner. This is the Tantiv IV, the one from Episode Four, the very beginning of the movie. Uh, next, we've got Detention Cell with Sliding Door. That sounds really cool. Uh, an Imperial Naval Trooper and a Darth Vader figure. So now that that's all gone through, let's let's get in here. This this looks really awesome. I don't know that it's going to be as big as my other. It's the new Star Destroyer playset, but it looks like it's got way more features, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Now, the hard part is going to be opening this thing without ruining the box because it is very sealed. So maybe i got to open it the other way. Let me slice it open and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the moment of truth. There we go. I had to go the other way. Star Wars fan club, always. Back when people had magazines and magazines were a thing. There's also some more stuff in there. I'm going to put this off to the side here. It's a beautiful box, really it is. Actually, you know what? Let's do something else. Let's let's box this thing up and let's put it right up front. Now, if you notice, I've got a bunch of other stuff I'm going to be unboxing soon. I've got a Jar Jar Binks playset. I've got a what is this? A Galactic Battle Droid Trade Federation Control Ship playset. I have what may be one of the worst playsets of them all, the Galactic Senate. But that's for another unboxing. But just stay tuned. That's why you need to subscribe here to Dano Channel, where I'm going to be up, you know, unboxing uploading videos of all this crazy stuff. All right, I've got a lot of stickers to put on. You guys wanna, you wanna do the sticker thing? Should we, should we take a look at the sticker thing? First, I do wanna show you this. Take a look at that up close. Oh yeah, so we've got ourselves a little Imperial Stormtrooper, I've got two Imperial officers, Darth Vader himself, there's my blockade runner, Darth Vader's TIE fighter. There's a lot of cool, cool stuff in there. Alright, how should I get this out of here and undone? Okay, now that I've got my little characters out, I noticed one of the little Imperial officers is like actually holding his neck as if he's being choked by Darth Vader. And that little figure has his hand out towards him, so that's that's amazing. And then I've got a gunner shooting a the gun. There's a lot of cool little pieces to this already. I love it. I love it. Cutting this old tape. Oh, that's a decent size. This is a decent size. I like this. All right, let's get it out. Let's see. So I have a top portion. Ooh, it's even got like a green little thing here where it like lights up. It doesn't really light up, but the sun or regular light kind of makes it brighten up. Here's the inside. There's nothing left in there, right? Nothing left? I think not. Okay, good enough for me. Good enough for me. Let's cut this thing open get this guy out oh my goodness oh my goodness this is amazing this is amazing Star Wars toys old Star Wars toys I love these things I really do 
Okay, there's something else inside of a bag here. Oh, it's the very top. It's like the little sensor array area. Shield deflector shield thing. I don't know what you want to call that. So I've got three pieces here. The bridge. That is the bridge. That's what the little thing with the two little globe Epcot things is. This is the bridge. Oh my goodness, this is really cool. Oh, that, oh, and it lifts up. Oh my goodness. That's the launcher. Oh, sweet. And you can pivot and launch it wherever. This is awesome. Okay. All right. Color me impressed. I am thoroughly. Oh, yeah. And that lifts up. And that's got the little hanger thing. And, oh, okay. This is already my favorite. This is <laughs> little sliding jail cell. Uh, these things pop. Did this one pop up? No, that one doesn't pop up. Oh, my goodness. It's a jail. There's got to be a lot of stickers I need to put on here, isn't there? I'm all dusty and covered in dusty bits. That's okay. Let's get into the stickies and see what exactly I can put where. Hmm? Hmm? Alright guys, this is it. This is the moment of truth. I've got my little setup here. This thing looks amazing. I, I gotta, I just gotta say, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. I think it looks gorgeous. Oh look, I can put my little blockade rebel transport here in the hangar. I can lower it, I can lift it. Okay guys, take a look at the inside here. Just look at this. This is, this is really, really awesome. So, let me see if I can get my characters in. And in, there's places here, maybe we can make it look right. Okay, so there are all those little stickers. You can see all that cool stuff going on in there. Maybe if it's a little darker, it'll work better. See, there we go, he's a little wobbly. But I've got cool little stickers in the background there. That looks really good. I've got my Darth Vader choking out another officer. Poor guy. We've got our lift tube that does work up and down. I've got my little gunner down here next to the jail. Now the jail does open up. There's not really anything in there, but if you want, you could put a figure in there. Jail him up forever. Or if you want, maybe this guy over here who was choking. Let's put him in there too. There you go. You choke, you go away. Cool. And then some of the best parts, actually let's do this, let's do this, let's, let's shoot this thing. So as you can see in here, I've got the TIE Fighter, and it does close in its own little compartment here. So it does close up neatly, or if you want to open it, you can open it. And let's see what else we got, you want to launch it, you ready to launch it? Let's launch it. There we go, we got it. Now down here we do have a couple other things, like it said. There's a little lift up thingy. It's kind of like a landing strip area. So if I wanted to add another TIE Fighter from say another playset, I could plop the TIE Fighter right on there as if it was landing. Looks kind of cool, I like it. Got my Tanit 4, my Rebel Blockade. Now this is kind of cool because it does lift up and down. Okay, you kind of drop it and place it and lift it and that's pretty neat and if I wanted I could put gunners over here and there's even cool little stickers inside I can rotate these guns as I need to so they do move as well but that one of the best parts is this is this the fact that you're able to kind of reenact the very beginning of Star Wars with that view that that's one of the things I really liked about these older sets. He's a little wobbly. But one of the things I liked about these older sets was that they, they actually closed. You could put all the characters inside and still close this thing up. And it was like, it was its own little compact case, you know, and all everything worked and fit neatly. Boom. All my toys are in here. I don't have to worry about things flying out. And it works well. So let's take a look at the bottom there. It even has like the little tractor beanie area. It opens, oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let me remove the figures I just dumped in there because it's about to get awesome. I'm just warning you right now. Let me put these little guys off to the side. This, this is amazing. This could be one of the most, I'm just gonna leave it open. No, I'm not, I'm closing it, I'm closing it, I'm closing it, okay. So he's all closed up, right, all closed up. Down here on the very bottom, like, if you've seen A New Hope, you remember the look of this. This this Star Destroyer coming up on the camera, like, big. 
So you can slide the little docking bay open. Oh, maybe it does have to be. Let's lift. Let's lift. You can slide the little docking bay open. See that? It went from closed. Oh, now it will never open again. Snap it closed. And you can go ahead and get in there and open it. So that when you're playing like this, you can actually recreate that whole scene. That is amazing. Take a look at that thing. That is so cool. All right, guys, now it's time to take a look at the old versus the new. So I've got both of them right here. So I've got both of them right here. I've got the 2005 Force Awakens Star Destroyer playset. And I've got the 1998 Star Destroyer Space Fortress playset. One thing you may notice right off the bat is the size. Take a look at the size on these things. Give you my little close-up view here. But you can tell that one is definitely bigger than the other, and that is our newer one. Our newer one is a little bit bigger. Now, if we want to take a look at what they come with, just to kind of verse each other, let's take a look at the back of their boxes here. We can kind of get a better idea. So this one, we've got quite a few things. We actually have four figures and two vehicles. One of them is a launching vehicle. And this playset, it came with only a few things. This one came with uh, X-Wing Fighter, came with Poe's X-Wing, it came with a Kylo Ren figure, and it came with Finn in Jakku armor, which is kind of strange. If you notice here, it actually tells you exactly what it's got. Poe's X-Wing, First Order TIE Fighter, Kylo Ren, and Finn. So it came with two vehicles, and two figures this time around. So not as many figures, but definitely more vehicles. Actually, same amount of vehicles. So already this older one is kind of have, has a foot up on the newer version. Uh, if you take a look at this other one, it does offer like quite a few different play options. I mean, look at this. This is this is kind of insane. The, the way it launches and just everything that's going on here. It's not only can you put the uh, X-Wing on the little pivot thing here, but you can also fire a blast. You can line up a bunch of different TIE Fighters up here if you'd like to. Like so. You can put a bunch up there. There are a lot of different play areas in this one. Whereas this newer set, I'm sorry, but this older set, you are a little bit limited. Let's take a look here. Okay, now one thing that I didn't really observe before, but I'm definitely noticing it now that I'm doing them side by side, is the size of the Micro Machines figures. Not only is it a bigger set, but if you compare them side by side, you can kind of see that uh, Kylo Ren is a bit bigger than Darth Vader ever was. So, I mean, take a look at them. They're like just next to each other. The actual figures themselves. That is craziness. Now, to compare them both, I feel like they both had about the same amount of stickers. The, the newer set might have had a bit more stickers. But, as far as actual play features and details, I feel like this older one's got just a little bit of an edge on it. Guys, I want to know what you think. Leave, let me know down in the comments below, which set do you like better? Do you like the First Order Star Destroyer from The Force Awakens? Or do you like the Transforming Death Star Destroyer Space Fortress from A New Hope? It definitely has features from A New Hope. I don't know. It, it's kind of a tough call. This one's bigger, and it's got more compartments and places for things. But this one's got a few more details that the older one didn't have. Let me know what you guys think down below. But now, before I go too far, is the moment of truth you all have been waiting for. Who is going to win this thing? You guys have been tweeting, watching videos, sharing, and all that good stuff. And I checked my little Gleam app to see who the contest winner was. And I want to give a big, huge, huge congratulations to Karsten Faulkner. Congratulations, man. The Force was definitely with you on this one. I had a ton of entries from people, and your name was picked as the winner from the Gleam Contest app. So congratulations. Be looking for a message here on YouTube or on social media where I will contact you and get you some details so we can get this shipped out to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to the Dano channel because I've got more Star Wars Micro Machine unboxing coming up. Jabba the Hutt, Galactic Senate, Jar Jar Binks. I've got a bunch of just crazy cool sets that I'm going to be unboxing here on the channel, so make sure you come back, because if I'm not doing that, I'm doing Disney artwork, I'm doing weird vlogs, you name it, Dano Channel is a place to have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and may the Force be with you.
Attach labels as shown. Oh my goodness, this thing gets labels. There's a lot of stickers here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? Oh my goodness. We're just, I'm just gonna skip and put them wherever I see fit. Where does number 30 go? Number 30! 29? Anybody? 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 29? Anybody? I don't know what is going on here. This is, this is insanity. This is sticker insanity. Yeah, happy stickers. Cool, cool, great. Nine, so then there's seven and eight. Where are number seven and number eight? You definitely want help or an exacto knife, a very steady hand, if you're going to be attempting to put these stickers on because it's very easy to mess them up. Not good. Not good at all. Seven, eight, and that's all for this cool little arm that does army things. Oh, there's a whole back section I could put stickies on. Oh. Oh. Number 26, 26, and 26. Oh. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's a beautiful. Number two. There's a number two, number two. Goes right here. Right? Number two. Well, that's beautimus. Beautimus. Number one. Where's number one? There's number one. Beautimus. Number ten gotta go somewhere. Is there more stickers? Where'd the sticker go? Number 10! I don't see number 10! Okay, I found number 10. Just kidding. Psych. Psych on a bike! Oh, no! Where does 13 go, Marty? Okay, cool, there it is. There's 13. Not quite sure what I'm doing here, Mister. I'm gonna guess I, I did this right. Hopefully. Oh my goodness, maybe I didn't. So I will have to perform some surgeon-like cutting to this sticker. Ah, I see what I did wrong. Oh no, I'm still missing a little piece though, so... Bully on that. Okay, kind of figured it out now. Alright, sticker's on. Good enough. Good enough. Almost, oh my goodness, almost. Can it be? Can it be? Oh my goodness, I finally finished this thing. 